this, are we? And in such a hurry to find us, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. We thank you for alerting the fleet, for warning them. You're such a fool. They're racing here, racing to us, and we are waiting. Waiting for them to fall into their worst nightmare. They will join my legion, and with their ships, I will bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it, and you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. This is the audio log of Nicholas Sedgway, member of USC Mars Hazmat Response Team, dated October 1st, 2145. We have concluded that the Martian atmosphere is wreaking havoc on the exhaust valve seals in the standard number 5 disposal drums. The engineers cannot explain the high level of contaminants in our internal atmosphere. The air scrubbers and filtration systems all seem to be operating at normal levels, it is a small layer of particulate is making it into the storage areas. That is what caused the lockdown yesterday. EAP Director Charles Hollis informs me that the personnel won't be harmed by these contaminants in the air, but we've seen that they do cause a corrosive reaction when introduced to the rubber compounds used in the storage systems. Effective immediately, all number 5 disposal drums must be locked away in at least a class 2 rated transport medium. Assessment ends.
will not be your end. Your soul will burn in hell forever. Toxicity level detected. Air scrubber one of three. Air scrubber two of three. Activated. Attention. Air filtration system. Torzu, Amiral Inokas. Rise, rise, Quas Lear Yalopan. There is no death for you. Environmental Reprocessing Center. Next stop, Site 2. Who are you? What are you doing? I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now, I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those... Things in the Delta Complex. The Delta Complex isn't safe. You're crazy if you're going there. Look, I don't think this train is safe Remember, either. Safety we first. don't know what's Please ahead. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately. I'm staying for your on the safety. train until Have we get nice to Delta. Day. Then you're on your own. Now entering Site Look, 2. Look, I don't think this train is safe either. We don't know what's ahead. I'm Warning. staying on Air the train until we get to Delta. Please contact and Engineering to wrong. facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day.
Engineering, please report to Site 2 Access Rod. Airlock malfunction detected. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. I'm going over 15,000 lines of code today and see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. 
This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Airlock security override enabled. Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected.
destroy him. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online.